Phil again at Hawthorne Pharmacy. It's time for the last part of this week's series on those pesky springtime allergies. A lot of people want to immediately jump to what I call the big guns, and that is pseudoephedrine or pseudofed. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Sudafed is the brand name that many people are familiar with. It's a nasal decongestant. This is the generic pseudoephedrine. Uh, there's another nasal decongestant, phenylephrine, that is available in front of the counter out in the regular over-the-counter section. You don't need an ID for, for that, but for the Sudafed products, you do need an ID. So it's important for you to know that these medications will not help with itchy eyes. They won't help with sneezing. They won't help with a sore throat. They're called nasal decongestants for a reason. That's what they do. They clear up a stopped up nose. So if your nose is congested, ask your pharmacist if a product like Sudafed is right for you because it's not appropriate for everybody, particularly those who are treating high blood pressure. Let me also show you the combination product. So uh, Sudafed is also found in combination with the antihistamines we talked about yesterday. So the uh, Claritin products, the Loratadine as the generic, Allegra or Fexofenadine, Zyrtec or Cetirzine. These all come as combinations with the Sudafed in them. Notice the, the D at the end. Anytime you see a D after a name, that means it has Sudafed as a decongestant in there. So Claritin D, Allegra D, both have the Sudafed. So again, ask your pharmacist if these products are right for you. If you do use a decongestant, keep in mind that they're meant to be used for a maximum of seven days. If your symptoms don't go away by then, it's time to see a doctor and see what else might be going on. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to ask your Hawthorne staff. We're here to help.